Welcome to this module. Now, in this module, we're going to take a look at a demo walkthrough, um, and I'm going to show you screenshots um, for Nessus. Now, uh, this is the link, and what you can actually do um, on the screen, you, you see a URL, and there's a seven-day evaluation um, that you can get free of cost, and the activation uh, key uh, for this evaluation software, which you can download, is also available from the Nessus website. So I, I suggest that you should install this on your own system and try out the features. So this is the login screen when you download the software and enter the key, then you will, it'll ask you for a login and password and then you actually enter the credentials and log in. And this is what you see when you log in, it's a dashboard. And here you have two icons on the top, which is scans and policies. Policy helps you to create a template for a scan. And then you can do on, on the lower left side, you see new scan, and then you have my scans also. So this is, uh, when you click on new scan, there's about 25 to 30 icons. And whenever you create a profile for a scan, it'll appear as a new icon on this window. Uh, so profile creates um, some settings, which creates a template and an icon under this new scan window as well. And here there are some uh, important uh, icons. There's advanced scan. You may not be able to see this graphic clearly, but I'll just read them out to you and you can actually do this on your own computer. There's advanced scan, there's web application test, they now have a WannaCry ransomware test, they have a basic network scan, they have a malware scan, they have a credential patched audit, they have policy compliance auditing, and there's so many important scans which are all here. So this is the WannaCry ransomware scan, and I actually did this on my system and it passed, so I actually had the vulnerability patched on my system. And when you click on new scan, it opens up this window and it asks you for the name of the scan. You give it a name, you give it a description, and uh, you give it a target as well. Now target means the range of IP addresses. You have to enter it here under new scan. And when you do that, you see this uh, dashboard view, um, which shows you those scans that you have created. And then, for example, I created two scans here. One is Nahil PC, which was for my PC, and the target system was my PC, and then I did local PC WannaCry. Um, and both of these have used different scan uh, icons or different scan um, templates. So, and then once you see this, uh, you can actually start the test and stop the test by clicking on the relevant icons here. So for example, let's walk through an advanced scan which is, it says, configure a scan without using any recommendations for an advanced scan. And uh, when you click on new scan under this icon, it gives you this window and I'm you know, scanning the local host and I'm calling this advanced scan, okay? And then I can go to the credentials window and it will ask me for credentials for SNMP or SSH or for Windows. And you can, you know, this is on the top bar, the top menu bar for credentials. And you can also click on the compliance icon. And here, there's a long list of benchmarks. It shows for Amazon, Bluecode, Checkpoint, Cisco, Dell, Citrix, and there's a long list of the uh, benchmarks. So I clicked on the Windows benchmark, and here it's showing me now different CIS and later on DISA benchmarks, and I can include these in my scan. So for example, uh, what I did was I included the Microsoft Office and the browser benchmarks as part of my scan. And uh, this is a complete list of the benchmarks. I included IIS, Microsoft Office 2013, Microsoft Office Word, Internet Explorer version uh, 10, Google Chrome, Microsoft Office PowerPoint, and Windows 7, uh, which was the OS running on my system. And then some DISA sticks as well. So you can include all of these compliance benchmarks to be included as a compliance scan for the scan that you're conducting. And uh, so this was uh, you know, part one of our Nessus demo. We'll move on to module, uh, the next module, which will look at the further details. And uh, again, you know, I highly encourage that you should go in and download the seven day trial and get the activation key and, and try out these uh, really simple features. It's really easy to operate. Thank you.